done with it. Like I said to you lot, that's it. Top four bare minimum ain't happening. Fucking hell, I'm coming for their throats, mate. Yeah, already have. Let's have it right. Um, next one, next one, next one. Uh, AJ says, United signing Champions League winning experience in Mount and 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 Werner. United haven't signed Werner. They signed Mount, yeah. They give him number seven shirt. <sighs> I told you lot. I told you lot ages before. He'll get the number seven shirt. He'll go to United. He'll get his 300 grand a week. And they all came true. How do I know all this stuff? How do I know about the Mont Club project? How do I know to expose these owners? How do I know what they're doing with kindergartens and all this jazz? How do I know that they're winning out of dressing rooms before you lot knew they're in and out of dressing rooms? How do I know all this stuff? What, you think I make it up? You think I'm some Alex Jones out here? Get out of life, man. Jog on, man. Jog on. You're a long way from Starbucks. Victor Mercer says, two years since CL win, but feels like decades. I miss TT. You know, I miss his TT, man. I watched the stream where, where we, we went the, the morning I woke up and I, I saw TT was sacked. I was gutted, man. Distraught. Absolutely distraught. And I didn't know as much as I know now. But it all makes sense. All makes absolute sense. And as it continued, I found out the true minerals why. They were forcing him to play Pulisic in pre-season. They were dictating in his lineups. And what's happening now? This is the real minerals landing now. Because this, this was a this actually uh what's what's your name, fella? My bad. My bad. Kevin, man. This is a great answer to your question, yeah. What what draws the line? What makes you go nuts? Yeah. All right. This makes me go nuts. Is that Pochettino comes out after the game, he says oh, it's unacceptable. He's very, very upset. He's very, very angry. There's no, no day off the next day. There's no day off. Everyone's training. Militant. Like Thomas Tuchel set the standards, even though he had no idea he was getting sacked and he got sacked. He said there's no day off after the Zagreb loss. Yeah, he got sacked after that. All right. What we got? What we got? We got Jackson at, in the Villarreal dressing room doing an Abamyang. Like Bamian going in Barcelona dressing room. You got Mudrick flying on planes. You got all these players fucking going on holidays, having laughs, going out, getting on the, on the piss up. Yeah. They're all going out, having a bubble, spending their money, loving life on their eight year contracts. Because they don't give a shit. It's a job to them. We're the ones that get tarnished at Chelsea. We're the ones that have to take all their shit for all their shit performances, for their poor inconsistency. For them, for them just not being good enough. But I don't blame them to an extent. I blame the owners that bought them here. Because they don't know fuck all about football. My thing is this. We get them all on holiday, man. Day after. What's happened? This is what wound me up. Is that these clown lakes upstairs, they undermined Pochettino, the gaffer. There is no way I accept and believe that Pochettino... Wanted not wanted to do the training. He wanted to do that training the next day. He wanted to set the bar, set the standards, bruv. Instead, you got your your captain. He's saying his captain, you need to be more of a leader. The gaffer needs to be the leader, all right? And the captain follows suit. But the captain's too busy going to rugby clubs to find out how to be a leader. And that's how, that's how, that's where you draw the line. And you go, we're a mess. We're a, we're a shambles. We're a laughing stock. We are Banter FC right now. And I'm fucking sick of it. Right? This ain't no fucking facade, man. This ain't no joke here. I'm not laughing. This is my raw emotion here. I've had this building in me since I've known this bullshit. And it's all coming out. I don't want it to come out. I said, prove me wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that we land it. We're not landing shit, man, this season. We're not landing anything next season, man, until they change their model. They ain't going to change their model. They're too stubborn. They're too stuck with their ways. They think they know best. You melt. You don't know nothing about football. How can you know about football, man? Your you're Americans come from Moneyball, baseball, NBA. It's nothing like Premier League football. Nothing like football as a whole. You've plagiarised the Red Bull Strasbourg model, all right? RB Leipzig, yeah, all right? Who've never won Champions League, Bundesliga. Been in existence for 15 fucking years, all right? You're plagiarising Brighton FC. You've never won a trophy in history, bruv. Right? You're looking at all these mid-table teams, you're farming players, you're buying kids, and we're, we're doing this at our elite football, our beautiful football club with two stars after having the greatest owner, and you're trying to tarnish our owner at the same time. You're trying to feed all this trust the process. You're benchmarking us with Lego Head Merchant, who's won fucking nothing since they have a cup. They've won nothing in the last 18, 19 years, and we're benchmarking our club 
with gooners who have done nothing, and yet you sold them our players, Georgino Vice Captain, Kai Havertz who won us Champions League because he was on high wages, and he's fucking bagging them clutch clutch goals, giving them three points to help them go top of the table at a, at a stage last season where they were, they were what, less points ahead? Now they're further points ahead. Now they've shown progression. It's embarrassing, man. It's absolutely embarrassing, man. Everyone smash the like button, man, at least, bruv. Everyone smash the like button, man. Every single one of you, man. Hit the subscribe button. My point is this, Pochettino's been undermined, guys. And that's a bad sign. That tells you one thing and one thing only, that he's been dictated. He's another yes, man. Pochettino's another yes, man. And I knew I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He's a yes, man. He's gone. He's there for the payday. He's probably thinking his head, fuck this shit. Sack me. I'm done. That's what we got now at Chelsea. We got no, no backing. The backing is the multi-club. The backing of the multi-club. The gaffer is the model. This kindergarten FC model. That's the model, bro. We're fucked. I'm telling you, we're fucked. Buying another Brazilian, and then we've got Brandon that's going, oh, it's not done yet, but it's very likely it's getting, it's getting done, man. We're buying more Brazilians than you can imagine, man. You can count on your fucking hands and your feet. Not wrong, Cursor. Pochettino is going to throw his Argentinian barbecue, bruv. He's going to be cooking, man, laying the damn minerals, bruv. Let's have it right. He will be, yeah? I want to re- I want to say this, yeah? This is the joke, right? So I've thrown on... I've, I, I keep going. I'm just so ratted, bruv. I'm so wound up, yeah? I'm, I need to calm down a little bit. Let me just calm, calm it down a little bit so I can actually explain what I'm trying to explain to you, yeah? Let's get the 200 likes, guys, man. Minimum, man. We've got over 200 of you in here. God knows who's in the Minerals FC Extra channel on Twitch. Get those likes likes up, bruv. Half time, bruv. Half time. Nick Smith says half time. Half time, bruv. Now, forget the lemons, man. Pochettino's run out of lemons, man, in that dressing room on training ground. And he's run out of lemons at his own backyard at this rate. His lemon trees are all fucking dead and buried, been cut down by Ted Lasso and Siri Merchant at this rate. And they're, they're putting the lemons in the Birkin bags and handing them out to Brazilian kids out in Brazil and Santos and Corinthians, man. Lemons are flying out, bruv. Um, so. Let me re rewind this, yeah. Let's read it. Craig David rewind, yeah. Rewind. Uh 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 um rewind. <clears throat> so Pochettino said we're gonna train next day. There's no time. This is not acceptable. This is Chelsea, yeah. So called this is Chelsea, yeah. This ain't Chelsea, all right. We get all the broadcasts of all the players going out, pictures, dressing, going in other dressing rooms and all this stuff, bruv. Yeah. And what do we get today? What do we get today? They were planned trips. They were planned trips by toothpick Ben Jacobs. Oh, thank you for addressing their plans. I don't give a fuck. Cancel those trips. Cancel those kids' trips. What does it matter if Jackson's going to the Villa or dressing room? Get him back at Cobham and get him a train, bruv. Get him a drink off that plane and get him a train, yeah? What are we doing here, man? No training. Same as what happened with Jellyfish Park. Don't worry, guys. We got to, uh, you know, keep family spirit. Let's give the guys a day off. They tried their best. The kids tried their best. They gave it the best shot. They lost 4-1, got battered. Like fish and chips, let's have it right up, up, up in Newcastle. Um, so give them the day off. Let them, uh, let them have a holiday, and we can come back and we can implement. This is Charles, you know. We're we're a family. We're together. Oh, jog on, man. You're a long way from Starbucks, man. You're a long way from Cobham at this rate. It's a disgrace, man. You're a long way from Chelsea Football Club, man. It's a disgrace. So what are we doing here, man? Two days off they get. Two days off. Let's have it right. Two days. Two days off. Right. You've undermined the gaffer. You've got brown envelopes coming out going, oh, it's pre-planned. But you won't cancel those pre-planned arrangements when they're irrelevant. I mean, what's the point in these pre-planned arrangements? They're pointless. They've got no substance or meaning. It's embarrassing, bruv. All right? It's not like Enzo Fernandez where he's had his little child and all that. What, they all had kids? They've all had other kids, these kids? They're having kids upon kids? That's why we've got a, a pre-planned arrangements? Like they're misses in, in labour or something? What are we doing here, bruv? All right? 
Maybe Ted Lasso's probably fucking getting them to get pregnant so he can sign their kids as well. He's probably thinking, rah, let's get them before they come out. Then we pre-sign the contract. We got we got a whole farm set up for generations, man. And let's make sure we buy all the Brazilians so the Brazilians are having kids. We got we got we might as well buy hospitals. Forget buying clubs. The Maui Club project should be hospitals, man. We'll have hospitals all over the co- different continents, and we'll have all these women on labour. And we'll just hope that we bag with the data that these kids are going to come out and become the next Messi's and Ronaldo's. You absolute deluded clowns, man. All right, this is what's going on, man. So here we are. We are a joke. And the gap has been undermined, like Jellyfish Potter, because they're both yes-men again. So here we are, stepping along, and we're getting Isaac Kinsella coming out going, what did he say? Let me tell you what he said, yeah? Because obviously you need to get Nizar Kinsella out. You've got to get Nizar Kinsella. He's got to land it. Chelsea plan one-in-one-out policy to streamline January signings, all right? So we know that. We know that. We're back to um, doing what every other club. But it's the fact that Niz Arkinsella attempted to clear up Pochettino's day off fiasco after Newcastle defeat. They're trying to cover up with PR to justify why the players had a day off. It's absolutely unacceptable. Just like it was unacceptable that Pochettino's laughing and bantering after we bottled a 2-0 lead against, uh, against the Goons, yeah, with the Arsenal goalkeeping coach. Instead of running down that tunnel and setting an example, there's no example. We're bants, bruv. Everyone at this club is here for vibes. you got Minnells Mudrick fucking rapping, bruv. Literally rapping in front of all his whips in his garage, bruv. Yeah. And he's giving a call to Ted Lasso, Siri Merchant, going, listen, you should sign this guy and this guy. And this guy from Shakhtar wants to come. And everyone wants to have a bit of the Chelsea, man. Everyone wants to come to Chelsea. Everyone wants to be a hip hop star, bruv. Everyone wants to land it, man. We all think we're rappers and we're going to come out like Tupac and Biggie, bruv. And regeneration, man. A new gen, bruv. Yeah, because we don't like Jay-Z, Rock Nation. They're in the mud. Absolute frauds in the game. Eminem, done you on your own track, Jay-Z, you absolute melt. Yeah, can't stand the geezer with his Beyonce that wears a wig, bruv. What are we doing here, man? Injects herself and takes pills to make her skin go a lighter colour. It's embarrassing, bruv. But you do what you're told. Let's have it right, you little yes men. That's what you all are, you little elite gamers, yeah? You little ones in the circle, yeah? Well, we've got our Ted Lasso Siri Merchant Circle, and they're literally, literally taking the piss. And dictating everyone, yeah? And don't worry. Why don't you go and get Lego Ed? Go and get Lego Ed. Try and get him from Arsenal, man. Even he'd laugh at you. And he's not even elite, bro. It's embarrassing, bro. Yeah? We we bought the wrong Jackson. You know what? I'd rather have Michael Jackson, who's passed away, than this geezer right now, bro. Yeah? Michael Jackson's music, we play that in the dressing room. It's like he's our striker, bro. It's like we can just have him on the pitch. Why don't we play with fucking 10 men at this rate? Yeah? So... Bring him back to life, man. Bring him back to life, man. Michael Jackson, bruv. Yeah. He said, they 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 tried to kill me. They called me a pedophile. They called me. They they bleached my skin. Listen, let's have it right. MJ was on it, man. He was making calls before he got taken out. Let's land it. We land the minerals on this show, man. We land the damn minerals, man. I don't care, man. Shut me down, whatever. Andrew Tate, fucking hell, man. This guy, man. Listen, this guy's got a platform. Why has he got a platform? He should be shut down completely, bro. I know many platforms that speak the truth. They've been completely shut down. So this guy's there. He's planted there for a reason, bro. But it's what it is man but mj man mj landed go and see him bruv doing his private little speeches his little little uh little uh conferences man he landed down minerals there mj bruv the brown envelope matrix yeah is is seriously got everyone on strings puppet strings yeah but not me not me bruv not me and not you minerals fc ultras bruv because i know you lot in the chat so make sure you smash the like button bruv i'm giving you this stuff for free man for free bruv let's have it right um so, listen, let's have it right. I don't mind Andrew Tate. I do I do like some of the things he says, um, but he's not gone quite into it. He's not quite, quite into it. Johnny lands the minerals everywhere he goes. Let's have it right. Let's go. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, so, um, <clears throat> my point is this, because I've gone off train of thought now, man. Crying out loud. Gone off train of thought, man. My point is this, is Arkin Seller come out and they're trying to justify 